Well, the calendar may say summer is over, but these beverages say summer is here to stay. Look at that. Yes, yes. Are those some beauties or what? Joy Holland's joining us right now. We're talking about a taste of paradise 314. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, my pleasure. All right, tell me how, how did you get to this place with these beverages? Okay, well, a taste of paradise. We just love to take your taste buds to paradise, okay? So it's anything flavorful, anything colorful that we do. So I love lemonade. Yeah. And so these are my mystery lemonades. So they can come in different colors. They can come in different flavors. Um, I have my paradise sweet tea that comes with fresh fruit in them. So we just like to take you to paradise with our drinks. All right, this is this is the iced tea, right? Yes. The, uh, the top one up here. Yeah, so that is something new that we just start doing and that is my paradise sweet tea. And those come in different flavors also or they may have fresh fruit in them. All right, and what's next to that? So we have our mystery lemonade, um, where they can come in various colors, different flavors. It just depends. You never know what you're gonna get. So I do it, it them could all look different, like that, but taste totally different. Totally different. Yes. Oh, wow. And then also, it can be one color, and then once you stir it, it can turn into something totally different. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And you can even you can even like if you have an, an event where you want a certain color theme, you can probably work with that. Yes. Too, right? If they if they want to do that we can but usually at, at different events we just make them up and we just hand them out and that's the mystery of it you just have to see what you get i love that i love that now so once summer starts coming in you also get in back into your cooking that's another yes, thing. yes so after summer ends we kind of get into cooking which we we do any anything from soul food to cajun food creole tacos anything we just like to take your taste buds just there. It's very flavorful. Um, it's very bright. Yeah. Um, and it's, paradise. it's just a taste of paradise. And people just, I just love everybody's reaction when they do our food or our drinks. Yeah. And, and these are some family recipes. It is. And there are my own little twists on different items. So like um, my billboard that I have, we have our Cajun gumbo tacos with um, my gumbo drip which is my gumbo that I do. So yes, that's something different. We were able to do that at a taco fest, so, and the people loved it. So we are bringing that back this year, yes. I, I love that. And so if people want to get in touch with you, how, how, what's the best way for them to get in best touch? Best way is through my social media, um, Taste of Paradise 314 on Instagram or Facebook, or we also have a email, which is a Taste of Paradise 314 at gmail.com. That's the best way right now. And then you're going to be at the see Black yeah. Taste of St. Louis this weekend. So I encourage everyone to come out, um, show support to all the vendors there. This is my first time doing this event, and I'm truly excited and blessed to be a part. Love it. Blessed to have you as Thank a you so much. You bet. I appreciate you. You bet. All the best to you. These look amazing. Thank you. Way. Just a mystery. <laughs> right now it's time to get you caught up on those news headlines for that. We send it back to Ty Hoggins.